So which strategy you applied here? Sir, here it was uh, a support level. So uh, yes. it was uh, uh, extreme level. Uh, By the buyer side. Body. Yes, sir. So it was um, uh, a reversal uh, pattern. So it was uh, a doji uh, before uh, the, the green one. So I placed my trade in the next uh, candlestick uh, and uh, taking some margin of uh, safety. Yes, yes, exactly. Level. So this is a strong area by the buyer side and yes. market reversed several times sometimes from yes. this area. Like uh, here market reversed uh, rejection and then reverse rejection and then reverse and market created the momentum. And finally, uh, when market hit this area buyer center and finally, this is the very, very weakness sign by the seller side. And then doji candlestick, this is a weakness sign by the seller side and then doji candlestick exactly above the support level. So after this type of doji candle, we, it will act as a reversal sign because it's an extreme area by the buyer side. That's why buyers will again enter in the market. So we have opportunity to place our trade below the level here to the upper direction by taking margin of safety. Yes, you are absolutely right here. Okay. So what happened here? Psycho uh, psychology movement, sir. So we yes, have yes. Uh, green one, green. Okay, after two green uh, red candlestick, uh, when market create two red candlestick here, then you can place your trade to the upper direction. But only another uh, thing you have to follow here that this candlesticks 50% level is also your hidden level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, market sir. close above the 50% level here. And this is a very, very weak candlestick by the seller. seller. Side. Exactly at the buyer set. That means ab ab above the level. That's why we have opportunity to place our trade here to the upper direction. This is also another confirmation. So this yes. is psychological confirmation. Okay, but we can take another confirmation here. So always remember one thing that when you are uh, working in the market, you must try to add all the concepts, what you know. So first of all, market structure, market movement. So now it's a very strong movement by the buyer side after the sellers entered in the market. So already this is the reference from the market. When market create two candlestick here, we can place our trade, but we can add another concept here that is hidden level. So we can then, yes. we can easily place our trade here to the upper direction market flag and go up. Okay. And we can draw level, uh, all others level of the market. So like if we draw, if we try to draw like this type of, uh, this type of level, so that is also our another confirmation. Confirmation, yes. So this is the level. So now when market again came here, hit this level, you can place our trade here to the upper direction. So is and every concept we must take from the market, then only we can expect a very, very high winning ratio. Okay. Okay, what happened here? So it, uh, it was a 50% uh, uh, pattern. Okay. So I want to take uh, some margin of safety, but suddenly the, the, the candlestick was so fast. So uh, okay, I that's why. Okay, that's why you uh, the, uh, the it's your late entry. So yes, yes. <clears throat> okay, you want to place your trade here. I think a uh, little above at the rejection point, like here, yes. like here. Okay. So is there any breakout? So when market create this type of candlestick after this type of momentum, always try to find out any breakout. So if you see there is a breakout here, there is a breakout here. So try to place a trade above the breakout level to the downward direction. Market may create bullish candlestick or bearish candlestick. Both time you must win this trade. Yes, sir. Because and there is also a doji level. Okay, okay, those level. Yes, you must find out that level and try to place your trade above that level, as above as it's possible, to the downward direction. Yes, sir. Okay, <clears throat> what happened here? Uh, so, um, uh, there is uh, two uh, confirmation here. The okay. first one is uh, the 50% uh, level for uh, the green candlestick. Okay. And the second one is... Uh, an, Inside bar pattern. No, outside bar. Uh, outside, yes. Yes, <laughs> outside bar pattern. Yes. So after outside bar pattern, when market again came back to this breakout level or 50% level, we have opportunity here to place our trade to the upper direction. Market definitely go up because market is strongly going up from an extreme buyer entry point area. That's why you can easily place your trade here to the upper direction. Yes.
after came back to this year. So what happened here? Uh, so, sir, it was the previous uh, uptrend uh, uh, market. Yes. So I draw uh, uh, a level for uh, the green and the red one. Okay. So I want to take uh, a trade below the level, but it was uh, uh, a low. Uh, it was uh, uh, so I. Okay. Okay. It's uh, it's latent. Okay. Late, so yes. uh, try to understand here. I think this is this candlestick got rejected from a seller's area. It was previous yes. history of the market. And after creating this type of wave, first, then second, then third, when market create this type of momentum by the seller side. Okay. So now when market create this type of momentum, we don't go against any momentum. Okay. Buyer's momentum or it may seller's momentum. If we place our trade to the uh, upward direction, definitely when market again break this level by a strong bullish candlestick here, like this type of like this type of when market is above this area so if we get any opportunity by any setup then only we can place our trade again to the same direction otherwise this type of momentum may break any types of level it's not so a strong level it's the past history of the market that's why we don't have any opportunity so when market create this type of pullback after pullback when market create another candlestick here so then we can place our trade after after this three candlestick, if market again create this shape candlestick, so that time we have to find out is there any pattern here like this one now bullish engulfing pattern. Then we can apply bullish engulfing rules. But when market created a momentum, we will not go against this momentum. That means we will not place our trade to the upper direction. So I have question, please. Yes, yes. Can, is any um, uh, can we know if, uh, for example, the the momentum will break uh, this uh, level, or there is no possibility to know? Okay, so there are some uh, situation here we can easily come to know when it may break this level or when it will not break. First of all, try to understand. If we see this area is an extreme area by the seller side, this is one thing. And another thing is this type of candlestick when formed in the market. And we will, uh, I will, I will explain in, in our volume session that this type of candlestick with high volume, this is a symptoms that already buyers done. Buyers will not go more up. It will create a ranging type situation or momentum. And if these buyers hit any extreme seller entry point area, and from that extreme seller entry point area, there is a momentum. So then only we can expect any breakout. Market may break this level because sellers are in a power now. Buyers are al al already finished. So that's yes. why sellers will lead the market to the downward direction. We must avoid to go against the sellers. Yes. We yes. always try to go with the sellers if market give us that opportunity. So if market finally create any start pattern here and the market again fall down or market create directly momentum, any breakout happen. So after any continuation candlestick, we can easily place our trade. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, this, is, this was the level and that level breakout happened. After that, this is the continuation candlestick. So you place yes. your trade above this level here to the downward yes. and definitely it's a winning trade. And yes, this is the perfect situation here because after this type of level breakout happen, when this type of level breakout happen, so now it will act as a resistance level. So when yes. this, this candlestick exactly at the resistance level, now we have opportunity to place our trade above that level here to the downward direction. Definitely it will again fall down or market may create here a retracement candlestick. So retracement candlestick, that means only very, very weak candlestick by the buyer side because it's not an extreme buyer's entry point area. It's just a minor level or we can call it say SNR level. So that's why we can easily place our trade above the SNR level here to the downward direction. It will again follow ranging market. Yes. Then it strongly broke this level by this uh, bullish candlestick. And when market again came below this level, you placed your trade here to the upper direction. Yes, there is no extreme seller's entry point area here. And buyers started to going up very strongly. A strong uh, candlestick here. Then weakness signed by the seller said, yes, we have opportunity here to place our trade to the upper direction. Just we have to follow the level. We can easily yes. place our trade below that level here to the upper direction. Market, sometimes market create here a, uh, a little like this type of weak bearish candlestick or sometimes market directly go up after rejection. Yes.
Okay. Uh, what happened here? It was a late entry, sir. Here, it was so late entry. It was yes. so risky. So late entry. This was breakout by this continuation yes. candle. So I yes, want to take when, yes, when this type of momentum and inside of this momentum, if we see any uh, continuation candlestick and level breakout happen, so we have opportunity to place our trade below that level here to the upper direction. Yes, but it was so fast, sir, so it was late. Yes, yes, I... that's why before placing your trade, you have to just observe the movement of this market yes. in this candlestick. It's so fast. Or it's slow. When it becomes slow down, then we have opportunity to place our suddenly here to the upper direction. Otherwise, uh, we, we may make some loss, this type of loss. You are very uh, perfect here because uh, it's a very perfect situation for placing a trade. But uh, we must avoid this type of late entry. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is sign of continuation and yes. uh, then you placed your trade here to the upper direction uh, and this is a strong movement uh, momentum. So yes, you are right here. You can place your trade here to the upper direction. Okay. Uh, what happened here? Any level so, breakout? Uh, so it was red one uh, and green one. So uh, inside the bar pattern. So I okay. want to take my trade below uh, Above the 50% level, yes. It's a very, very perfect uh, position uh, for placing a sure short trade. But because of fast movement, I think uh, uh, your trade plays a little below here. Okay. Yes, this is inside bar pattern. In this type of market condition, we have opportunity to place our trade a little above here to the downward. It will again fall down.